Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, Come let us worship the Lord, the, Lord, the King, King of Apostles. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are His people, the flock, His shepherds. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, Come let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Come, Come let us, us worship the Lord, the King, the King of Apostles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let, Come us, let us worship the Lord, the, Lord, the King, King of Apostles. Please be seated. My commandment is this, love one another as I have loved you. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life, in your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet, and my mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, on you I muse through the night. For you have been my help, in the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. There is no greater love than to lay down your life for your friends. Bless the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Lights and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Ananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are You, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. 
You are my friends, says the Lord, if you do what I command you. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise him his name with dancing and make music with cymbal and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetter of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who with untold mercy were pleased to choose as an apostle St. Matthew, the tax collector, grant that sustained by his example and intercession, we may merit to hold firm in following you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner of, for the Lord, ask you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received. With all humility and gent gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word of day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. Please stand. Praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. The glorious company of apostles praise you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at a customs post. He said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at the table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus 
and his apostles. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ngayon po ay pinagdiriwang natin ang kapistahan ni San Mateo o ni St. Matthew. Sino nga ba si St. Matthew? Si St. Matthew po ay isa sa mga apostol ng ating Panginoon. At siya po ay isa rin pong tax collector noon. Noon po, bago siya tinawag ng pating Panginoon, siya po isang tax collector. Pero ano bang ibig sabihin ng tax collector nung panahon na yon? Ang tax collector po, ito po yung mga naniningal ng buwi sa mga mamamayan. Kaya marami pong nagagalit sa kanila. Kasi noon po, under the Roman law, nag-iisip sila ng mga device kung paano mas magiging mabilis at maganda ang paniningil nila ng buwis. Kaya ang nangyayari po, naghahanap sila ng tao, mag auction sila, kung sino po saan sa kanila magbabayad ang mga tao. At si Matthew po ang isa sa mga tax collector that time. At kapag naniningil ka ng buwis, kahit sa atin naman, maraming nagagalit, ano ho? Kahit yung mga utang natin, pag sinisingil tayo, nakakainis, ano, pag time ng bayaran na. So, ganun din po noon, maraming nagagalit sa mga tax collectors. At hindi lang po yan. Kapag kayo po inapabilang sa tax collector o collectors o mga tax gatherers, may mga pamantayan po kasi sila kung paano kayo sisingilin. Depende ko anong trabaho nyo. At kapag naniningil po sila, prone din kasi yon sa abuses. Kaya marami daw po noon, base kay sa ating history and sa scriptures, marami no mga tax collectors mayaman. May kaya talaga sila sa buhay. Kaya si San Mateo po, eh, mayaman po siya. Pero ang medyo hindi maganda po, napapabilang po sila according sa Jewish tradition, kapag tax collector kayo, kabilang kayo sa mga makasalanan. Sabi pa nga, kabilang kayo sa mga bagay at mga maduduming uh, hayop, mga unclean animals. So talaga, ang tingin sa kanila ng tao ay mga makasalanan. Actually, may isa pa pong komentari na pag tax collectors daw kayo o tax gatherers kayo, hindi kayo pwede mag-witness sa mga kaso, sa hukuman o court kasi alam nila sinunghaling kayo. Imagine ninyo, tax collector ay eh, makasalana. Kaya nabanggit dito ng mga pariseyo, bakit ang inyong Panginoon, bakit si Jesus ay nakikisama sa mga makasalanan? So yun po ang dahilan, yun yung background. Bakit ang tingin ng mga Pharisees sa mga kasama ni Jesus ng mga tax collectors ay eh, makasalanan? Ganun po ang tingin sa kanila. Kaya alam nyo po, yung pagtawag ni Jesus kay Mateo o ni Matthew, yung pagtawag niya, e eh parang tumawag ang Panginoon sa isang taong kinamumuhian ng lahat. Napaka medyo controversial noon kung titingnan natin. Sa tingin ko, on a literal sense, malamang si Matthew, noon pa lang naririnig niya na si Jesus. Kaya nung tinanong siya ng Diyos, follow me, sumunod agad siya. Pero meron ding spiritual sense na possible. Ano? Kasi sabi ng mga commentary din ng mga nabasa ko, yung sinabi ni ng Bible na, and he got up and followed him, yung sinabi ng Panginoon, follow me, and then he got up and follow me. Yung salitang he got up, may Greek word po yun, o sa Griego, na anastas. Na may kasing halintulad sa salitang anastasis, na resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. So malamang si Matthew po ay nag-resurrect from the sins. Siya po ay bumangon at nabuhay magmuli. Nagkaroon ng conversion si Matthew sa kanyang puso. Kaya po siya ay naging 
isang apostol and evangelist. Mahirap po kasi yun, ano? Mahirap po kasi yun dahil maraming ginib up. Maraming nawala kay Matthew at meron din naman sa natagpuan. Ano yung mga posibleng nawala kay Matthew? Una, nawala yung he lost comfortable job. But he found destiny. Yung magandang trabaho na wala sa kanya, pero ang nakita naman niya ay ang kanyang kapalaran. He lost a good income, but found honor. Nawalan man siya ng magandang kita, pero isang karangalan naman ang natagpuan niya. He lost material possessions, but he found peace and joy. Yan yung mga nawala kay Matthew at mayroon din siya natagpuan ng mas mahalaga. Alam niyo po, may mga novices po tayo dito sa bahaging kanan ko. Uh, minsan din po, naging ganyan ako 10 years ago. So bago po yan, marami din kami mga iniwan para sumunod kay Jesus. May mga sakripisyo po talaga. Ano? Pero we found, sabi nga dito, si Matthew kagaya namin, we found destiny, we found Honor, we found peace and joy. Ayun po yun. Kaya alam ninyo, si Matthew, iniwan man niya ang tax collector's table, pero ang kinuha lang niya ay yung kanyang pen, yung kanyang panulat. At yung panulat na yun na ginamit ng Panginoon para isulat ang isa sa mga Gospels, Synoptic Gospels ni Matthew. Na actually, mahaba po siya sa Among the Gospels. Ano po? Mahaba po. Kaya imagine niyo may plano ang Diyos para sa Kanya. Kaya naalala ko tuloy, lagi kong binabanggit ito, madalas po sa umili ko, na ang Panginoon po, tatawagin tayo sa ating pangalan, hindi sa ating kasalanan. Si Matthew, tinawag sa pangalan, hindi sa kasalanan niya bilang isang tax collector. Iba na po ngayon, si Matthew po ay isang apostle and evangelist. At sabi nga ni Pope Francis, The calling of Matthew remind us that what Christ makes us His disciples, He does not look our past, but on our future. Please stand. St. Matthew's life was changed by the call and challenge of the Master. May our prayers express a conversion of life which makes us sensitive to the needs of others. For our petition, we shall say, God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. That programs of renewal may mark our Catholic life. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. That we may accept the challenge and call to conversion rather than give in to the invitations of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. That those involved in financial matters may not sacrifice their souls for wealth and power. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. That the spiritually infirmed may seek help in the sacrament of healing. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. For our brothers and ministry at Bahay Dominico and St. Mary Magdalene, let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. That the dead may be forgiven by of their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. Almighty God, with the prayers of St. Matthew, accept the petitions of your people, the new Israel called together by the grace of your recent Son, 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. As we celebrate anew the mem memory of St. Matthew, we bring you sacrifices and prayers, O Lord, humbly imploring you to look kindly on your Church, whose faith you have nourished by the preaching of the Apostles, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, Watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have upon appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Pinagpalang na paririto Sa ngala ng Panginoon Usaha na, usaha na Usana sa kaitaasan Usaha na, usaha na Usana sa kaitaasa. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks and he gave to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Sa krus mo at pagkabuhay Kami natubuhos mong tunay Oo, Jesus, namin mahal Iligtas mo kami hintanan Oo, Jesus, namin mahal, ngayon at magpakailanman. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Matthew, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Bibiyan mo po kami ngayon ng aming kakarin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sahala. Oh, 
sa tukso. At iyakyaho kami sa lahat ng masama. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. The Lord saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax collector's office and said to him, Follow me. Matthew got up and followed him. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the Lord saw, saw a man named Matthew, Matthew sitting at the tax collector's office, and said, said to him, Follow me. Matthew got up and followed him. Let us pray. Sharing in the saving joy, O Lord, with which St. Matthew welcomed the Savior as a guest in his home, we pray. Grant that we may always be renewed by the food we receive from Christ, who came to call not just but sinners to salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawa, the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa will be on October 2, 2022. We invite you to participate in our Novena Masses, which will start from September 23 to October 1, 2022. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawakminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go for the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. By your blessing, God, our Almighty Father, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.